All right, well, here we are checking out, uh, testing the um, skinning capabilities on the International Lone Star by Mark Brower. And uh, basically, I'm just uh, running the gamut with this, making sure that um, all the mapping is coming out correctly. And everything, I'll tell you, is looking really, really good. I am super happy with this and I've, I've made a couple of skins here that I'm fairly proud of so makes me happy oh uh, this one right here is the Lone Star color changing and the cool thing about this is this is the body version so um, all of the hood and and this that you may have seen in my other color changing uh, that stays a constant cream but now you can change the fen the sides of the fenders the uh, the mid stripe down the hood the fenders in the back all that but now the frame and and all these stripes and all that stay constant cream which you know if you don't like that you can always go in and um, and make a template uh, alter the template that goes into this where you can change that cream to another color if you want to but this is kind of cool because you can uh, use your metallics pick your pick your primary color and then pick your uh, your darker color to be here your dark flake and then your your light colored flake here and there you go now it's all nice and red or you can go green if you want to it's whatever you whatever you know your company colors or whatever you can um, you can do it upright now I've put a I borrowed a graphic from online and I changed it from like clothing to trucking or something like that but you can go in here if you don't like door decals and stuff like that you don't have to use them I got the IFTA sticker there I've got uh, the decal on the, the back. I got the mud flaps there. I thought that was kind of classy with the blue with the blue truck. I thought that looked pretty good. I've got a, a logo back here. We can do away with that if we want to. And how I change out the mud flaps is um, the mud flap, I don't see a like a delete sticker or whatever. And you know if you you do that it's just going to be mud flaps with no no bumper so I can change back to the custom painted bumper and now it's going to do away with my mud flaps so that's how I do that and uh, anyway so there's that skin and like I said you can um, you can go in and change the that body color to to whatever you want and you can do this right here preset color blue that I had in there so that's a, a really deep navy blue with that cream color I think looks pretty pretty darn awesome so and if you don't like the the cream on the hood and the fenders and all that stuff you can always use something like this where I've got the cream on the other parts and the body stays the constant cream the frame the frame is color changeable <clears throat> so if we wind up uh, if we want if I wind up uh, passing this skin along if you guys want to see it on your truck I may just uh, share it with the rest of the class. You're welcome to play around with it. Come up with whatever, whatever combination uh, your heart desires. And if I, if I do wind up sharing the skin, which I probably will, um, I'll probably send along the, uh, the paint files with it so that, you know, whatever... Uh, whatever you want to change to customize to your liking 
you'll be able to change. So that's kind of the way I think about it. That looks pretty cool. Right there. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> anyway, I have another one that's got that I've been working with a little bit. It's got a gray a gray body, so if you were to to use a like a dark blue or a black black looks pretty cool with the gray it's not for every color it's one of my older versions where I just had the hood outlined in my opinion I think it looks better like this with the whole hood uh, done up that way and uh, you know just real quick right here like that you know I think that looks really classy but anyway just wanted to uh, to share some some things I've been working on just testing out the uh, the mapping so if you uh, if you like the, the skin if you want to see it on your truck when it's released just uh, give it a thumbs up or give me a comment and, and uh, and I'll make sure that you get a copy. Thanks for watching.